Hello people of the internet, and today I'm going to be making LGBT characters based off of mood boards that I found on Reddit. You can see, see the picture both on my phone and at the beginning of each character. I'm going, I didn't draw them in the order of LGBT, but I'm showing them in the order of LGBT. I think I started with, I started with B and then the G and then the L and then the T. I had a few people ask, I guess, to see the whole process, so I'm showing the sketching process. Sorry if you can't see it that well, but I guess this is more of being able to show why I don't normally show the sketching process, but luckily the camera is a little bit closer now, so you can see the sketch, so it's not total. It's not a total waste of time. The lesbian character uh, is called Candy Cat, and before anyone says it, yes it says lesbian, because I know that I can't spell lesbian, so I'm going to spell it wrong, on purpose. Not because I hate people, but because I'm annoying. Um, for the mood board that was for the lesbian one. By the way, these aren't like LGBT um, mood boards, but I wanted to like make them gay. <laughs> I'm not the greatest at explaining things, but oh well. Uh, for the lesbian mood board, the what I'm gonna I'm gonna call them the lesbian mood board and that sort of stuff, even if they're not actually called that. I fa found them all on Reddit. Blah blah blah. <laughs> uh, but it has crystals in the middle on a skull, and from that idea I thought, hey, give her crystal loop earrings. I've seen a couple lesbians with those. I also spelt cat wrong on purpose. Uh, at the end you'll see where it says candy cat lesbian. Lesbian. See, I spell things wrong on purpose, because then when I make a genuine spelling mistake, people don't point it out, because they think it's on purpose. Play the long game. So I made this one's colour scheme purple, purpley pinks and magentas and that sort of good stuff. Because, you know, that was like the colour of the mood board. The skull inspiration is very minimal, minimal, with just a small skull on the shirt, but you know. This is the mood board that I'm using for gay, for a gay man. Um, there was a dragon by the guy with the hair, I, I took a lot of inspiration from the hair, making it blue, making the dragon's hair blue. Uh, I didn't know which way I wanted the dragon to face, or how I really wanted it to look. So I kind of just made a big long snaky boy <laughs> with a cool jacket. At first I was gonna take a lot of inspiration from Keith Colgain's jacket, but I draw Keith's jacket all of the time. So, you know, let's not draw Keith's jacket again. <laughs> uh, I made him slightly chunky. He is a chunky boy. Because, you know, we gotta celebrate people of all shapes and sizes. That and I wanted to draw a chunky dragon. Sue me. So, we have Chunky Dragon, who is... What's his name? Oh, he didn't get a name. Chunky Dragon. Uh, he also hasn't got any arms, but he has tiny wings. There's no reason but for not giving him arms. I just don't didn't want to. Sue me. I don't care. I'm not giving him arms. This isn't exactly about the gay character, but 
my favourite one out of all of them is the trans fox at the end. Ah, uh, spoiler alert, he's a fox. <laughs> uh, his name is Alex because, you know, the meme of we need to stop giving trans people the same ten names. Calling you out Caden, Jaden, Aiden, Elliot, Alex, Ash, Miles. I can't think of the other three basic trans names. But it do be like that. We gotta be honest with ourselves. I would like you all to know that throughout the time of waiting for this video to export and do all that good stuff, um, my laptop got so hot that it melted a crayon. And it also melted the oil out of my oil paints. So that's what I'm working with. So when a video is a bit like messy in the editing or when it's posted, just know that I am trying, but sometimes I don't want to sit here for four hours waiting for a video to export repeatedly because it wants to panic on me and wants to destroy everything I create. If you heard that, that was my, bo my bones clicking. I gave him a nice rose on his head because, you know, roses are cool. And there was a rose on the picture. Well, a bunch of roses. I wanted red, black, and blue to be like the only colours, but obviously there's also grey for the smoke because, you know, what other colour am I going to make smoke? As you can tell, like in the last video and pretty much all the other videos I create, uh, I use Micron pens that I got from Wish. They're pretty good, they were £5. Still waiting for my other pens to come from Wish, but you know, they might never come. That's just the game you play when you buy your things off Wish. I didn't give the dragon a very dragon-like tail, it's more of a sharky looking tail. But you know, we don't know what dragons look like because we don't know if they even existed. Sue me. I don't care. I've said that too many times in this video and we've only been recording for what? Seven minutes? It just be like that sometimes. Uh, the pencils that I'm using are the the pencils with the full black let uh, outside bit are watercolour pencils that I bought for a pound. They're actually some of my favourite pencils in the entire universe. I don't know why. Just because something's cheap doesn't mean it's bad. That entire pack was one pound, and they're the best pencils I've ever had. The ones with the black stripe and then the red stripes, or whatever colour the pencil is stripe, um, they were bought from Wilco's, I think they're like four pound. My brother bought me them. They're okay. They're not my favourite in the world. Uh, the character that I'm drawing now is the bisexual character that I ended up calling Caramel. Caramel the bisexual vampire werewolf. Werewolf might be spelt wrong. I don't know. I can't read. Caramel might also be spelt wrong. Uh, I called it Caramel because, you know, he's caramel coloured in the end. That and Caramel... Caramelly Brown was like a big part of the thing with the train was like a caramelly brown and all that good jazz. Um, I don't know why I decided to make all of the characters ant for animals. Probably because I'm not that great at drawing people. You saw me doing finger guns trying to figure out what a finger gun looks like. I think that's just how artists be though, they're just constantly doing hand and face things to try and get like it to look right. It just be like that sometimes. Um, for the outside bit I'm using a 1.0 micron and then for the inside I use the 0 0.1 micron. 
because I like the way things look when the outside lines look a lot thicker than the inside lines. I just think it's a really cool stylistic choice. I also made the inside of the eyes small crosses because I didn't want to draw pupils. He also has a cross necklace because one of the pictures in the mood board has a cross necklace. I don't know why I picked a blue ho hoodie, I think it was because there was some details in the hoodie that I don't want to cover up by making it black. At first I was going to have him this emo boy black hoodie, but then I decided against that because, you know, dark blue is a good substitute when you draw lots of details in black. So obviously he's a werewolf, a lot of werewolves are normally like a grey colour, but I wanted to make him a caramel colour with a brown tummy. I don't know why. I think it's just because when I draw grey, it kind of just gets washed out. So you know. I made his muzzle brown, his hair brown tips of his tail and his tummy and also he has a red highlight in his hair because I think that just looks cool I wanted to make this video because I really haven't done anything for pride and I guess Sometimes it's just nice to see yourself in a character. Like, it's, it's easy to explain, but it's also hard to explain. Like, I myself am trans and I'm gay, and I like, in media, I like to see characters that not, not represent me, but characters I can relate to on more than just a, hey, they kind of act like me. Being able to see characters in media or in anything with the same like sexuality or gender identity as you, or even like skin color, race, background, any of that sort of stuff, the same as you, I guess helps you connect with the character easier. It's just nice to be able to see characters a bit like yourself. And I guess for these characters, because they're just drawings, you kind of have to take my word for it that they're gay, trans, bi, or whatever. Spooky boy season for the spooky boy. Um, I was a buffoon and forgot to record the sketching section for Alex, the trans fox. I can't remember if I forgot or if the thing got corrupted, but I don't know. I like how he came out, except for his hands are very messed up. I also gave him a spooky boy ghost. Because the thing was very Halloween-y and I didn't want to draw ghosts on his shirt because I've already given him, because in the end I give him uh, little hands on his uh, shirt. I made his uh, eyes slightly different to everyone else's. I gave everyone else like big wings, like eyeliner wings. That's not me trying to say that trans guys can't wear makeup because they can. They can wear wear whatever the heck they want. So far my favourite character is definitely the fox, probably because, you know, I relate to him a little bit, despite the fact that he's just a drawing. If I'd have to put a breed of fox on him, he's probably a common vector. I like how the orange... I guess makes him pop off the page. Later on I put green inside the ghost's eyes and I like how it looks. It makes it look like he's kind of glowing from the inside. 
And that's what I think of when I think of spooky ghost boys. I gave him very tired looking eyes with the little line underneath. I don't know why. I guess it's just because tired boys. I made a short screen because there needed to be more green. His eyes are purple and green. He has heterochromia because I thought it looked cool. Here's a close-up of all of the drawings. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to love everyone, hands, hooves, paws and claws.